I am so proud of you guys. You know what? I'm really proud of this DeKalb County student, too, because I am telling you what, he has done something great. He is 12 years old, and he is in college. You heard me right. DCTV's Wardricus Britton has the story. Meet 12-year-old Stephen Stafford. He may look like the everyday average Joe, but many call him a child prodigy. It may have something to do with the fact that Stephen was able to do third grade math at the age of two. When we first moved here, I, I was in kindergarten. And after, I tried that for a year, but it, it was boring. And then my mom found out that I could do multiplication and division when we were working at home. So after I finished that year in kindergarten, she, uh, she started homeschooling me. It wasn't just Stephen's mother on the job. His older sister, Marty, was helping to teach a few things herself. She is basically the reason I'm here, like, right now. Because when I was, like, two and three, she, she, like, when she would come back home from school, we would get bored, so she would play school. And she would taught me addition and some, a little bit of subtraction. And then I started doing two column addition when I was three. It was fun. Like, we used to just play around, and I was having fun while we were doing it. Stephen's final attempt at traditional elementary school was at the age of nine in the fourth grade, which was unsuccessful. His parents then had a difficult decision to make. It was a great school. They were fabulous. But for some reason, once again, it, he, it wasn't being reflected in the classroom. Now, I don't know if it because he had friends there and he was distracted. So my husband, you know, we need to just pull him. And that's when we started to homeschool him. Just, and we've been doing that ever since then. And then Morehouse came. Two years after being pulled from conventional school, Stephen was on the campus of Morehouse College taking algebra and pre-calculus, earning the highest score in his class and even tutoring a few of his classmates. Some students may have panicked from the pressure, but Stephen has his own little strategy. For me, I just, I don't view the people. I view the lesson. So... For me, it would be like any other 12 or 13 year old going to seventh grade, going to middle school. I just go to a different spot. This is my first semester with him, and I was kind of surprised when you walked through the door. He's been just one of the guys, that's why. Uh, not a lot to differentiate between the other ones. He, he comes to class, participates, he interacts with the guys, they all interact with him, and they all, they were, based on what I've seen, they just accept him as another student. The mother of Stephen and Marty, Michelle Stadford, is an acceleration coach by trade who wanted to create an online community for parents to help restore their child's love for learning as well as a resource for accelerated education. And from that, Mocha Charm was born. Mocha Charm was created by Mrs. Stafford, who started working with her children when they were two years old, simply because she wanted them to have a good educational foundation. The online community was created not just to provide help for other students, but to teach parents how to build their very own child prodigy using free resources within their community. I work with parents who um, are trying to, how can I say, kind of accelerate their own kids, or not just accelerate them, but get them to um, perform at their natural pace. Because a lot of times, I mean, people say accelerated, they're talking about just working a little bit beyond the curriculum, and that's not really hard if you really think about it. Many times, students are unable to learn in a traditional classroom setting. According to Mrs. Stadford, that doesn't always have to be bad news. Find out which way they like to receive the information, which way is easiest for them. I mean, yeah, of course, you know, they're going to always do the pencil and paper, you know, that's coming. But while they're at home, you have all this freedom to try different things with them, you know? And it's always, of course, the museums. Go to the library. Those things are free. They have free resources. I mean, use what's available in your community. To all parents, mentors, counselors, big brothers, and sisters, with many public schools facing budget shortfalls, our students need you now more than ever. For more information on the art of acceleration, be sure to visit mocha-charm.com. That's mocha dash charm dot com or call 678-313-9607. Reporting from Morehouse College Campus, Wardrick is Britain inside the cab.